All right, everyone, what do you say we do a singles read? I thought it'd be pretty good. We'll open the year here and see what's going on outside the soulmate cycle, a year where new soulmates can get in, new opportunities. It's opportunity energy this year that with lots of change attached to it, year of restoration, restoring you to your rightful throne. And right here at the pre shuffle is a king of pentacles. How about that? All right, well, let's see where we go. Let's, let's pull a singles read. We fly outside the soulmate cycle here. So this is not your runner or anything like that. So let's see. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here or you found Steve's Love Chair or you're here for a reason. This reading, like all the singles reads, are timeless. So whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. And I want to remind everybody, it's easy to pull general readings when you're part of a cycle. When you're flying outside the cycle, like a singles read, which is why most single reads sucks, and I try to do decent ones anyway, I, mine might suck too for all I know, uh, it's tough to do because you're all your own individual little cycle, right? Your menses aren't synced. So it's tricky. It's a lot trickier than pulling a general reading in a cycle. So you're go I, I talk in general terms here, okay? I have to. It's, it's e each one of you is your own little cycle, your own little solar system. But there is a general theme here of incoming, right? Incoming energy, like Radar on uh, MASH, the TV show MASH used to say incoming, right? He'd always, they called him Radar because he knew when the choppers were coming and things like that before they could hear him. That said, incoming. I'm going to yell that to you. Uh, here in the pre-shuffle, just on the surface, I shit you not, this is the pre-shuffle. A year where I've been telling you New soulmates coming in, something pretty powerful is coming your way. Now, the energy today is fairly chaotic. I don't know if the universe is going to want me to split this or just do one reading. But I got one pre-shuffle. I got a king of pentacles, which is stability. You got a king of pentacles coming your way. Okay? it's the Everyone loves the king of pentacles. It's a nice energy. Crossed by the nine of cups, which is, you know, eye on the prize, emotional fulfillment. And why is it emotionally fulfilling, though, is what I wanted to know. Well, here's why. Right here in the sandwich, I've got the Eight of Wands. I've got fast incoming, right, incoming, fast forward movement. i got communication from a King of Pentacles, all right, who you either meet. It's probably somebody you meet. I'm not sure if it's somebody you already know. If it is somebody you already know, it's somebody that you kind of, maybe you spank to. Or maybe you had your eye on them. Or maybe you have a lot of respect for them. It can go that way. Okay? That kind of thing. Uh, either way, this incoming energy, incoming, uh, takes your three of swords, right? All the shit you've been through, right? And makes it okay. Here's the sun, book ending. The king of pentacles. The king of pentacles makes everything okay. Alright? It's, it's nice. I mean, it really is. It's a nice, it's the surface energy. It's just, you know, a reading anybody could do. It's just a surface energy, but it's really nice. It, tell, it, be, it starts our story off. Whatever this is, I like seeing this. This has been a recurring theme where your three of swords gets made okay. And it's probably because the sun lights things up. You know, it, illu it illuminates things that were in the shadows with its opposite, the moon card, which leaves things in the shadows. I think it might make you a lot of what's going on this year for you guys okay is understanding finally understanding why you had to go through this soulmate cycle why this person ran from you why it mattered what what steve and other people have been talking about about all these lessons i need to learn and growth and all that i think it'll all make sense with this king of pentacles whatever that means let's find out let's shuffle the deck uh, I think it's just going to be one reading. I don't think the universe is going to want me to split it, but I don't know yet because I'm not done shuffling. But let's give the deck a shuffle and uh, give me the soulmate energies around, uh, well, around my viewers. I'm not even going to say the DF. It, it, it's just give me the soulmate energy around the viewers. The viewers is a static energy that's here with me. All right, so this is the incoming energy. And I wasn't kidding about incoming. You know, that Eight of Wands is also a speedometer. You know, it's pretty quick. This is a year that gets off and running in its first quarter, which is right now through the end of March. So, you know, that's that's pretty cool. You know, it's, it's quite a year. It's a whole different animal. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, all right. See, 
It won't let me shuffle anymore. It gets all jammed up. Mm -hmm. That's it. I haven't looked at the bottom card. I'm going to pull four cards. Uh, I'm going to do a four card reading. So the bottom card is the affecting energy, the environmental energy. Still haven't looked at it. Uh, the two cards on the end will be bookends of each other and the two cards in the middle cross each other. Okay? Two pentacles. Options, options, options. Didn't I see something like this earlier today in a twin flame journey reading? With the two of pentacles was at the bottom or something? Or the two of pentacles came out some options. And I did a lot of shuffling there. Okay, I shuffled for the pre-shuffle, and I, I actually did a cut before the pre-shuffle, and then I shuffled for the pre-shuffle, and then I shuffled again. Here it is. It's more than one option. That King of Pentacles represents, I think you feel better, I think that Three of Swords feels better because you're going to start to see your power. You're going to start to see why growing your energy, raising your vibration is such a good thing when, when a lot of different people are attracted to you. All of a sudden, you're the bell of the ball. And that's something that can kind of make you feel better about what's happened to you. You know? Okay. All right. You don't even tell me. Oh, God. The, Jesus, the lovers is underneath that. It's soulmate. Soulmate palooza here. It's, it's a soulmate fucking music festival. What the fuck? Okay. All right. Uh... I think this is also saying in the environmental energy, it'll be pretty clear. The good ones from the bad ones. Okay? So, you know. Anyway, we'll, we'll see. Uh, ten of Pentacles. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. It's like I'm pulling on the DF, isn't it? We're, gonna, we're, 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 we're drifting dangerously close to douche commercial here. Animals talking to you in the forest and shit. Look, it's no coincidence that when I pull on you guys, which are usually for the soulmate cycle readings, the DF side, it's no coincidence that every time I pull on you guys, I get cards like this. I get lovers, ten of Pentacles, things like that. This energy has been building for a while. You know, things change very slowly if they ever change at all. That's why I don't pull readings the way other people pull readings. There's no point in just continually pulling sign readings every day for the same signs over and over and over again. The energy doesn't change that quickly. It's just silliness. It's nonsense. Uh, and then you start to piss off the universe and it just starts sending you joke messages and things like that that don't even make sense. Ten Pentacles. God, I can't wait to see what's booked. Well... Whatever that pre-shuffle represents, whatever these soulmates are, whatever these options are, this is where you end up. This is what this year is taking you to. This is the in the right now. Okay? This is fresh energy that we're in. That's why I'm referring to everything here early in January as yearly readings. It's not necessarily I'm divining out a year. I'm just saying you're going to a good place here. All right. Let's go. Hangman. New perspective. What's crossing that? Five of Wands crossing the hangman. Interesting. Why is that there? Well, we can't have light without shade. It ain't going to be roses and rainbow reading. You come here, Steve's Love Tarot, for the real deal, not some fucking bullshit where they only talk about the good things coming your way and stuff like that. No, it's no such thing. Yeah, there's good things, but along with them comes come the other side of the coin always. You know, even winning the lottery is a good thing, but it's got some bad shit attached to it, too. Okay, ask, ask anybody that's ever wanted, I'll tell you. Uh, right here, what's bookending the Ten of Pentacles? Knight of Swords, wow. Um, these are energies that might, okay, your perspective is going to change. You might get in your head a little bit. Okay, this is something, how do I phrase this? I've, I've told you this before, but this is kind of a situation where People are treating you, in this new energy, people are going to start to treat you differently because your vibration is much higher than it has been, okay? So what's happening here is you might get in your head, you might, because things are going to happen that have never happened before, okay? So even if you were popular, now you're going to be real popular. But if you were always somebody that people stayed away from or you have a hard time meeting people and all that stuff, you won't have a hard time meeting people. But that, again... Can get in, it, it, you can get in your head about that and create all kinds of scenarios. Oh, this isn't going to last. This isn't going to... Fall back on the lessons you've learned. It's, it's a repeating message from the universe. It talked about it in a thank you reading I did just the other day. Fall back on the lessons you've learned. This is my be cool upright card. Be cool. This is uncool. This is someone who's freaking out. This is someone who's chasing the UPS truck down the street. Okay, it, it really is. <laughs> or chasing some, somebody with a frying pan. Chill. Just 
be cool. Everything's fine. Uh, this Knight of Swords with this with this Ten of Pentacles. Uh, these energies that are coming at you, which is this, gets right to the point. Okay, they're not runners. These are these are very good. They're no, they may not be as strong a soulmate as far as deep soul. You know, in, in other words, you haven't had as many lives with them, lifetimes with them, and things like that. But it's still a soulmate. They still complete part of your soul's picture. You know, we we have these soulmates that we meet, these people we have soul connections with that we've known before, if you will, because they have uh, little puzzle pieces that fill in. Our, our, our soul is like when, when we're born, it's like one of those, when we come into this life, it's like one of those puzzles you get at, at, at the discount store. It's supposed to be a thousand pieces, but it's got 800. You know, you're like, where are the other 200 pieces? The other 200 pieces are held by our soulmates, all right? And soul connections we have. Uh, some of them have a lot of the pieces, like uh, you, the, your runners or your, your twin flame or your deep soul, your deep, deep, deep soul connections. They, they might have 150 of the 200. But this is here. This, this is nice. It's nice energy. Um, it's, it's coming. Again, another speedometer. Ten of Pan you're getting closer to the Ten of Pentacles, which is everything, than you think. All right? There's energies coming at you that you don't know about yet. All right, let's clarify some things here. Mm -hmm. What do I want to clarify first? I don't want to go in order. I want to clarify the Five of Wands first and get that out of the way. Okay? Let's, why is the Five of Wands here? Mm. Why is the Five of Wands here? And then we'll find out a little bit more about who's coming towards you when we pull on that card. And where it's going when we pull on that card. And these two cards, again... I don't know if I need to pull on the hangman or not. I will, but I definitely want to pull on the five of wands. These two energies are kind of linked anyway, but we'll see what happens when I pull on the five of wands. Tell me about the five of wands. I do what I have to do, right? All right, let's see what happens. Uh, five of wands, why is it here? I see what it is. It's the strength card crossing it. Um, it it's a bit of be cool. But I, before I open my mouth with the strength card crossing it, because the strength card, I just want to remind everybody, and this is one of those energies, is surrounded by a wall of fear or a fence of fear. Because if you have to get the strength up to do something, it implies you're kind of nervous or afraid to do it. Right? All right. Keep that in mind. What's on top? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. I, I was going to say it. I just wanted to verify what card was on top of it before I did. Some of you haven't been banged in a while. Okay. I'll put it to you that way. And I don't just mean banging. I mean, you know, just had anybody give a shit about you in a while, I guess, on a, on a high level. And you might question it. You Again, you definitely might get in your head about it. Not for the reasons you might think, though. With the strength card and the eight of swords combined here, you might get in your head about it because you might start freaking out that it's going to go away and get, and get all batshit crazy and try to hang on to it. You know, I made a I made a joke about you know you'll get as crazy it's things things are happening differently. You might get as crazy as somebody you know chasing a UPS truck down the street, that kind of thing. You know, you might just get a little crazy that it's that it might go away, and you might try a little too hard. That's why this is my be cool card. Be cool, all right. If if you go crazy on somebody, they're probably going to dump you. You're probably going to get rid of you, no matter how much they feel for you. You got to be careful about that. So just be cool. All right. Don't be afraid something's going to go away just because that's what happened before. Things that happened before are not happening again. All right. We're in new energy. All right. Now that I've said that, center card read with the strength card, the fool. What did I just say? Rewind. Why am I your second favorite? Anyway, what the fuck is that? You see what I just did? I just completed a sentence. I don't know what's here. I just completed a sentence and said, Things are not the same as they were before. We're in new energy. And here, look, look right there, center of the reading, or center of the clarifiers, is the, the base energy is the fool. Brand new territory. The fool is the zero card in the major arcana. We're, uh, we are in new territory here. So be cool. Just enjoy it. All right? Don't, don't, in the middle of getting banged, don't think, oh my God, it's going to end. It's going to end. Just enjoy where you are at that moment. All right? My God. And 
you don't go chasing them around and calling them every five minutes afterward. Jesus Christ, nothing crazier than that. What's what's red with the eight of swords here? The tower. You you will destroy. What did I just say? Why am I your second favorite energy? Did you see what I just did? I said I don't know what's here. I said. Don't go crazy and like call them five, six times and everything. There's nothing crazier than that. And I pull this. You will destroy this. It, it, one, one, energy is always in layers. The top layer of energy is you will destroy this like this tower is coming down if you get in your head about things. Things are different now. We're in new territory. Also, in another layer of energy, this tower says again the same thing I just said. We're in new territory. We're building on much more solid ground now. There's no need to go all fucking dra create dragons, fire breathing dragons in your head. All right? I'm saying it because it's important. I know someone's out there going, all right, move on. All right, move on. No, you need to learn the lesson of temperance. And that's crazy if you're saying that. I dump you right now. Okay? Seriously, I get rid of you. <laughs> all jokes aside, all right, this is important because it doesn't make any sense for me to tell you about the Ten of Pentacles you're headed toward if the universe is adamant that you're going to fuck it up. And it always is. So don't. All right? Just always be cool. It's the best advice you could get from Steve's Love Tarot. No expectations for the outcome. That's how you're cool. Right? Don't think about the outcome. Don't think about the end while you're in the middle. All right. Chill out. All right, here we go. Let's talk about... Uh, I'm going to pull one crossing card on the hangman. I don't think I need it, but I'm going to. I want to be thorough, and I want to piss off the people that haven't learned the lesson of temperance yet. Learn the lesson of temperance. You're going to need it for long-term relationships, which are coming your way under this energy. Potential for them anyway. There's always If there's the potential for a long-term relationship, there's the potential to fuck it up. <laughs> When we're not used to the energy that we're in, the fool, it's tricky. It can freak us out, especially with the fast-moving energy of 2023. All right, keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to pull. <laughs> this would be a good year to learn the lesson of temperance, I'll tell you. All right, here we go. The hangman, what's crossing it? What's crossing the hangman? Mm -hmm. The nine of wands. That is the coolest cat I got when I pull this kind of thing. The nine of wands. They're all the, the, the emergency break is off. The nines are the end in terror. You see the sun? Yeah, though there's not much left of the wall. You can see the sun right through it. The sun was in our pre-shuffle. The emergency break is off here. All right, just be cool. You can always slow the car down. You can always stop the car. It's the car is not out of control. We just don't have the e-brake on. All right, the wall that's been blocking. The energy before was blocking a lot of things, a lot of things from coming your way because you had to raise your vibration to be ready for them. Otherwise, because a lot of you were manifesting somebody like your runner or someone better. Well, that's fine, but your vibrations were rising, so the universe can't send you the runner because their vibration is below you, so they got to send you someone better. But if you're not ready for someone better, it can't send it. So what it does, net, net result, is put up a wall so nothing can get in. And I've been talking about that. There's a hole in the wall now. Now things can get in because you guys have done the work and you're raising your vibration. You learn that you don't wait for somebody who runs from you. If somebody who wants to run, let them. They'll regret it. It's their loss. That's what the Empress feels. That's that Empress energy, right? You raise the vibration, you attract a lot of things. Well, if you're not interested in me, someone else will be. So it's your loss. Now, let's see who's coming towards you. We'll pull on that last. Let's see who's coming towards you here. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. What do we get? So yeah, that's what that Nine of Wands is, crossing that hangman. It's exactly, it's just all about just be cool. You're in complete control. You are in control. All right? Keep that in mind, always. And I, yeah, it is what it is. Hey, that concludes the lecture part of the damn reading. But it needs to be there. I know. Listen, I, I've been in a lot of a lot of relationships. I've been in one now for over twenty years. But before that, I mean, I know. I know what happens in these things. You get all weird and paranoid about stuff, and all kind. It gets all crazy and nuts. It can, especially when it's really strong, and you're not and you're not used to the new energy. 
And I watch friends do it all the time. You know. Let's see. Knight of Swords, tell me about it. Who's coming in here? What's this energy that's coming in hot? Uh, it's, I think it represents multiple energies. One of the energies might be a horse. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what comes up. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Oh, fucking hell. As if we haven't seen this character enough lately here. Just just at the top of the year, for God's sake. I had this character battling the devil in the Venus and Aquarius reading. It's crossed by the Hermit. This is a soul, soul connection. Why, why do I say that? Because the Hermit's there. Did you watch my Venus and Aquarius reading? If you said yes and you don't know why I said this is a soul connection, because it's what the Hermit wants, right? The Hermit wants real things, real deal. Heart, mind, soul, all the whole package, right? One fluff of superficial nonsense and the hermit's out the door. Right here. That's just, this is a powerful, this is very this is some spiritual shit coming your way. This is nice. This is stuff that the hermit is saying this is stuff that's on your level. Because you're all most of you that are watching right now are watching other readings about the soulmate cycle that I do and things like that, about the runners and all that kind of stuff. So you're part of the soulmate cycle. You're here to learn something. Right? So, or to be entertained, one or the other. But you're here to learn something. And, you know, you're all old souls if you're part of a soulmate cycle. The universe don't bother with young souls and all that kind of stuff. And it's not, it's not to say that the energy doesn't bother. It's just they're young souls. They haven't been in human form but one, two times. They don't have enough lives to, to have gathered any deep soul connections. Okay? So, that being said, you're all old souls. Uh, this is something on your level. What's on top? And again, I have to be general in a singles read. I'm sorry. You're all your own little thing. I, I don't know how else to explain it. A lot of people don't get it. They're like, well, why can't you just say it's, it's John from the office? I, it could be John from the office. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. I doubt it. Is it does he dress like that? No. Uh, anyway, Queen of Cups. Most love I could pull from the deck. Um, it, it is a Queen of Cups. Sometimes in the witches, I talk about this is my desert queen. It doesn't have anything in the cup or the sand in the cup or the waters. Of, no, no, no. This is just queen of cups. There's a lot of love. She, she holds the ace of cups and she gives the full cup. So it's new love that actually is on your level and gives the full cup. All right. This, is, this uh, Knight of Swords is just talking about the speed which the energy is moving. It's tied to that eight of wands in the pre-shuffle. Okay. Wow. No wonder it freaks you out. After what you went through with the runners and stuff like that, I'd be a little surprised too. I'd be a little suspicious, to be honest with you. Don't be. Alright? We're in new energy now. Keep that in mind. Oh, we're building on solid foundations. Provided we don't get crazy. <laughs> Center card here, red with the hermit. What is it? <laughs> Look, come on. You can't make this stuff up. It's ten cups. Oh, sorry. It's ten cups. I always misjudge where my camera is. Look. Look at the card. Look. It's ten cups. Ten cups. And it's real deal. Sometimes this is a bit of fairyland. But I've got both the ten of cups. On. I got the who's coming. The ten cups is coming. Basically. You know, someone on your level. So I got the ten cups with who's coming. And where it's leading to, its bookending card, is the Ten Pentacles, which is everything. I often say it's better than the Ten of Cups because it's, it's, it's the full package. This, is, this, this person's bringing this, so you can have the Ten of Pentacles. Have it all. It's unreal. There's a lot of love here. There is. The universe seems to think you'll fuck it up, a good number of you, but that's all right. You know, you can flip the universe the bird and say, you know what, I'm not going to because I remember what Steve said. Now, I'm not going to call them every five minutes. And I'm not going to think while they're in the middle of banging me that it's going to be over anyway, so why should I, I don't know, climax. Well, fuck it. You know, forget about that. Put that down. Be cool. Just You're, you're going to be cool. That's what you're going to be. What's red with the queen of cups? <laughs> Seven cups. See, there's multiple things coming towards you here. There is. But I think, based on what I saw at the bottom with the Lover's card and the Two of Pentacles, the original overall energy here, which has long been shuffled away, but um, I think it's going to be very easy for you, as long as you're cool in this hangman, 
to spot the good from the bad. You have many options coming towards you. Now, energy is always in layers. I'm going to give you another layer. I don't always give you guys all the layers because I don't want to confuse people, right? I mean, you know, there's a lot of energy here. Uh, the other, the other, the B side of lots of options is this might actually confuse you. And this ties back over here to what I'm saying with this Five of Wands, okay? It might confuse you because, again, I think even besides the runner, right? You, the runner, if, if you're part of the soulmate cycle and you had that person run from you, I don't think many of you are used to or have ever experienced somebody actually giving you the full cup. Even if you're sitting out there going, no, 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 Steve, I was married to somebody for 30 years and we, I don't think you ever got the full cup. I'm not sure. Not all of you. I mean, I can't, obviously I can't say that to all of you, but just, just think about it in case you're one of those people. Maybe 40% of you watching never, have never experienced the full cup. Okay. Um, and I can, so this can be confusing. This, this card can represent confusion. Uh, when all, when somebody actually shows up and and, it, and, you, and there's no trick, you know they don't run. They don't. You you go out. You have fun. You whatever. You definitely have an energy coming towards you. I think it's multiple energies. I think this is another card that backs that up. Let's see where it's all going. All right. As far as the time frame goes, I don't divine too far out here for these. Um, at the most, the first quarter of 2023. At the most. Okay, I try to keep this in the month that I'm pulling the reading, but I'm not a fucking time lord. Cut me some slack. There's no time in the energy. I read energy. I also read clocks, but I read clocks and calendars separately from reading energy. Okay, they're just shit hanging on my wall that I look at. Right now, my clock says it's 324. Okay. And my calendar says it's January 3rd. Okay. None of that has anything to do with your with reading energy or pulling tarot readings. Okay, so you know, uh, but I did try to confine it at the very least to the first quarter of the year. Okay, this is fast moving energy, and I know what's what's going on with the astrology in the first quarter of the year. You should watch my Q1 reading to find out a little a little about that. But also read the at sltblog.com the calendar page for upcoming readings in January I wrote a nice blurb about January on that page there's some serious shit happening here January is drenched in destiny and this is definitely part of your destiny all right I am shuffling on the ten of Pentacles while I'm talking for that impatient person who's like just get to it already you know what if you want me to just get to it already why don't you get to someone else's channel I don't need to you know I don't need to be rushed by some fucking energy here I'm trying to give you a good reading. All right? At least I keep you entertained a little bit in between and tell you things. You know, it's about you know it's about the lessons here. But you got to learn that lesson of temperance. You really do. I tell you what, you want quickie readings, you're gonna get shitty readings. Energy is not read quickly. Energy is peeled back layer by layer. It's painstaking. It take it took me decades to learn how to control and figure out what's what and what feeling goes with what. It's a pain in the ass. <sighs> Be grateful you're not an energy reader. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. It sucks. Basically, it sucks. Uh, here we go. Especially when you pair it with deep empathy, which I have. That's, that's not fun either in the world we live in where there's no fucking empathy. It's crazy. It hurts. Right here. I gotta put up blocks. The chariot. Where you're headed. The Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, again, it's a speedometer card. It's you're headed there quicker than you think. I got naysayers watching. I must. Uh, that's part of the message here. But someone here, one of the meanings of the chariot is determination. And someone here, which since this is tied to this, this someone in these energies is hell bent and determined on you, right? What's that song? Wasn't there a song way back in the in the eighties? Wasn't it George Harrison or something like that? He said, "I got my mind set on you," right? Isn't that a song, or is that, or am I thinking of another lifetime? I have no idea. But "I got my mind set on you" is like ringing in my head. There's someone here really, really has I, that song. Look up the lyrics to that song. I know it exists. I think it's George Harrison. "I got my mind set on you." 
I, I don't know whether it, they, those lyrics would relate to you or to the other person. I don't know, but they're going to mean something to someone. Uh, because it wouldn't have popped in my head. I, I, I don't even know if it's a real song. That's how little I've heard it. Um, anyway, somebody's really determined here to have this with you. Okay? And it's not your runner. This is, this is new fucking energy. Which is probably why, again, that's something new for you. Don't get in your head about stuff like this. Just flow with the energy. Allow shit to happen to you. It's fine. You know? You're always in control. If you're cool. When you're this and this, you're not in control. That's not good. That's Toons is the driving cat energy right here, driving the car right off the road. Just be cool. Be a cool fool. You'll be fine. Look at that. A rhyme. Take that with you. Be a cool fool. All right. Here we go. I'm not going to turn this into a children's TV show. But anyway, what's on top? Queen of Swords. This... Whatever is coming towards you, again, I said it earlier a little bit, it, it allows you to process a truth, process something that you had trouble with, okay? It, it, it's almost like one of those things where somebody would say it restores your faith in love or it restores your faith in something, okay? That's all I could say on that. Uh, it's mostly about the sword of truth here. It almost reads like it's just an ace of swords. Um, but yeah, this is, this is nice. Uh, what's the center card red with the chariot just for fun? Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. I said, yeah, this is nice. And I pull that. Yeah. I, that's a nice card. That's, a, that's a solid new beginning. It helps you make sense of something. It really does. And that's what this year is about. Restoration 2023, the year of restoration. I wrote about it in September. I've been talking about it on a lot of readings. I know some people are new here, so you're like, what the fuck is he saying? Go read my fucking blog. It's, you know, it's a year where we're all restored to our rightful fucking thrones. After getting, especially those of you in the soulmate cycle, you know, where you got knocked off your throne a little bit. You know, it's, that's nice. God, what's, what's red with the Queen of Swords? Ace of Wands. Two aces here. It's really nice. Um, there is actually... There's something, this is a strange thing to say. This is a very passionate card. This is the Ace of Wands. It's a, well, you, we could say a passionate new beginning kind of a thing, right? There's something about this connection, and this might be a way to help you spot it, especially if, with all the interest there's going to be in you, all, which is new to you, okay? Or on, on some level, it's going to be new to you, okay? Maybe just you always get interest, but this is quality interest. I don't know. Whatever it is, there's something about this, the honesty of it, the truthfulness of it. There's something, and there always is, there always is, something very sexy about the truth. All right? It does. There, it, it, it always is. The, the truth is very healing energy. And this is my queen of truth. Okay? There's something about the honesty of this connection that you find quite hot. Smoking hot, in fact. And it, it just heats up instead of just an Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. Yes, yeah, real nice. And Ten Pentacles. There's some heat here. Okay? There's some heat. So, yeah, again, I don't joke about anything or say anything that's not in the energy. All right? I take these readings very seriously because I know you guys do. So, and I'm, and I'm saying stuff that might influence somebody. And I'm very careful about that. So, while they're in the middle of banging you, let this fucking heat flow. Don't think that it's not, you know, it's going to end or it's not real. This, I might just, you know, fooling myself or what. Don't, none of that. This is new energy. It's going to have that new car smell. It's going to feel weird. It's going to feel different. The fool tells us that. But the universe is saying it's for the greater good. It's building on more solid foundations. So, if it feels a little weird, suck it up. Turn the Eight of Swords upside down, which is suck it up reversed or upright if you will if you want to look at it that way this is nice i mean this is nice somebody definitely got their mind set on you uh, i don't know why the eight of pentacles revealed itself but uh it, it did what's underneath that i guess there's a sandwich here we need to look at with the chariot otherwise that wouldn't have happened uh the king of cups um it's actually a connection that isn't going to take as much work 
as the other ones. Horses make short work of things. Okay, the King of Cups can be a little stingy with giving love and all that kind of stuff. But we've got a combination. Basically, the universe is saying that this connection, these connections that are coming your way are rooted in truth. The honesty of them is quite hot. And it's of all of as far as king and queen go, it, you guys are king and queen of cups, which is a beautiful connection. It really is. Um, the king of pentacles from the pre-shuffle mostly represents the different, the different aspect, the stability, the stable aspect. There's both. There's pentacles and cups and wands. It, it, I've got the queen of swords, the queen of cups, the king of cups, the ace of pentacles, the ace of wands. There, there's heat, there's, there's fire, there's pentacles, so it makes sense. There's truth and there's love. It's nice. It's a year of change. But, you, but when you get on a higher vibration, as a lot of you have, this is what you get. That's what comes your way. If you find yourself, if you're one of these people, and I give this advice in person all the goddamn time, and sometimes I get smacked for it, but that's all right. People don't always like to hear real advice. Uh, if you're one of these people who's out there, let's say, uh, male or female, you say, uh, all men suck. Everybody I go out with is shit. You know, you could flip the gender roles if you want. I had to pick one. Whatever. All right? That's not on them. That's on you. Because that's false. All men don't suck. Just because the ones you're banging are shit doesn't mean they all are. And that's on you. That's your energy that's attracting that shit. So keep that in mind if you think you're one of those people that thinks all men are shit. Everybody's let me down. Everybody's cheated on me. Everybody's done this. They suck. That's on you. That's your energy. Like energy attracts like energy. That's when you need to look inward and take a look at yourself. Right? That's when you need to do that. You, it's time for a spiritual journey. Raise your vibration. These energies here that are coming toward you, my viewer, for the majority of you. There are people that are supposed to be here and there are people that are here that wandered in, that found it somewhere, found this video somewhere, who maybe are supposed to be here because if you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason, but it might be future influence for you. Okay, so keep that in mind about any reading I do. It might be future influence, especially if you're someone watching the reading going, oh, I wish he'd just get on with it. I wish he'd just speed it up. You're not, you're, not will, you're not ready to hear anything about spiritual journey or growth or growing your vibration. That's very low vibration. Just skip around, fast forward, and all that kind of stuff, and just turn a 30-minute a video into five minutes. That's low vibration. That's, this, this may be future influence for you. So you wasted your five minutes. Okay. This is for the people that have put in the work, that have grown, that have... Uh, looked at themselves, taken the stuff out, unpacked it, understand that they shouldn't be waiting for the runner. Uh, that Someone who's at least on their way into that Empress energy that has raised their vibration. For you guys, this is magic. That This whole year is going to change everything for you. It's a complete, it's a total game changer. Alright? That's your reading. That's what I got. Take it or leave it. But at least I'm honest with you. And I'm even honest with, with my little fast forwarders uh, and skippers. You know, hey, you may not want to hear it, but it, it, it's a fact, all right? It is. Uh, temperance is an extremely important lesson. And it, it's, uh, it's indicative of high vibration. It's represented by Archangel Michael, who's very high vibration, all right? Tell you what. That's your reading. I hope it, uh, hope it was helpful, all right? Oh, and Archangel Michael is a frequency of energy, by the way. It, you can put the action figure to it if you want, but it's a, it's a frequency of energy that's around us. Anyway, that said, Hope this reading was helpful. I, I hope to God you get to you get to find this. I hope this does come your way, and I hope you are cool. Alright? Truth is always sexy. The honesty of it is very nice. Alright? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Alright, good luck.